Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario uh, for the Nintendo 64. That was weird, I haven't said for the for the system in a long time. Anyway, we're going to explore Toad Town this time. And you're going to want to remember some names because a lot of these characters are important for side quests. Oh, salutations! You are Mario, are you not? Of course I know who you are. I am the wise Toad, Rusty. Please, pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only intellect can provide? And how about this? So it is told that far away at the very top of the sky, there exists a star haven where stars make their home. In Star Haven, there's a treasure called a Star Rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. Magic. There, is, there are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They're called star spirits. Using the magical star rod, these star spirits grant the wishes of everyone in the world. Wow, you really like to talk, don't you? Yeah. This could go on for a while. I don't know if he says, like, anything very, like, particularly intriguing that we don't already know. Hold on. Later on, but he might. Um, I probably already showed this star piece right there. Uh, I think I already went into that room. I don't know. I don't exactly know what all we checked out when we came here in the last episode. There is a shop, however, and I kind of want to sell one of my things. Shroom Grocery. So I'm going to go ahead and sell the Sleepy Sheep because we don't need it. And you may say, but you need it for a side quest later. Well, there's another Sleepy Sheep on the way. And I think I'm good with everything else. I'm going to keep that Goom Nut for reasons. Because we'll be using it later on. And actually, you know what? I probably want to store that, because it'll be a while away. Here, take my Goom Nut. So, you can check your items, which basically means you're storing them. So I'm going to go ahead and check the Goom Nut. Um, and sure, one of the mushrooms too. Because we have limited in inventory space, which I think is like 8 or 10 slots. I don't particularly remember. Mario, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you were doing. You can go home through that pipe in the front gate. Yeah, I already checked him. He told us about how he was allergic to mountains. Oh, ha ha ha, you don't have it? The degree, Mario. The degree shows how strong you are. I have it. I fought at the dojo over there and got it from the master. I am one bad toad. You are the baddest of toads. We have a little trio of toads. Peach's castle flew away. How could such a thing happen? What, what'll become of Princess Peach and the others who were in the castle? I'm scared, I'm scared. I, Felicity, am so scared. Is Felicity a word? I didn't know that was a word. I'm gonna have to look that up. Above us on the top floor, there's a dojo. We are here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo is closed. A letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. So, in there is a bit of a side quest where you fight, like, ranks of enemies. And we'll be doing that soon. But not now. Star piece in this tree right here. So we were actually able to get that. The theft of our castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened in the center of town. It seemed to rain wood. As a result, we can't get to the southern part of town. The train station, the port, many important things lie south. Not being able to get there is a great inconvenience to me and to everyone. Toad Town News Flash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. Yep, they even have news about it. And I believe... If we actually go to the back, underground news, I'm scribbling on the back of a notice board. How naughty! I heard Mario was defeated by Bowser. How ominous. A gossip-loving toad. How nice. Um, but yeah, as I said, if you try to go downwards here, then you won't be able to get through because there's a thing. <laughs> a thing. Uh, there's rubble in the way. Yo, water and dirt, sunshine, power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Did they have to add the H there? I guess. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bubbles have the only known seeds. This is what a bubble looks like. This is another not side quest but required thing that we're going to have to look out for while we're going on our adventure. So if you ever see any bubbles, you gotta get them. You gotta talk to them at least. And there's that shady bunch that we'll get into later. And there's also the post office which is the last place I think I'll be checking here. Hey, look at this guy. 
Greetings, the name's Paragary. I deliver letters. You must be important NPC to be on the cover of the box. Yes, hello, this is the post office. So, at the post office, you will um, occasionally get a letter to one of your partners, and you'll be able to read it. And they'll be from characters you've seen along the way. I think we get one from, like, I don't know. I don't want to spoil characters, so I just won't say. But we already have one for Goombario from the Red and Blue Goombas. Here you go. Goombario, you were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. How sweet. Yeah, it's weird, because being nice instead of being strong, well, technically Goombario is stronger than both of them. Or at least once we get our action command, because he'll be able to do two damage as opposed to one. What up? I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was just here a while ago. Wow! I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Ma Luigi made it along, made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Actually, no, because there was a few characters throughout the that we'll be seeing throughout the game in there, and they also got out too. So quite a few of them actually got out. Anyway, this is the path to. Uh, Star Hill, or whatever it's called, I don't know. What is it called? Star Shooting Star Summit. Uh, but before we want to go to the top path, looking for something, drop by Mer Lovely's place. Oh heck yeah. So, there are like a bunch of star pieces here that we actually cannot get yet. Nice picnic area. So keep that in mind, we'll be coming back here once we get the ability to do that, which I believe is in Chapter 3. So here's Mer Lovely. Ah, my, my, heart. I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is more lovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here. <laughs> your twinkle star? Okay. Nah, we're good. Yeah, we will. Remember this box. It's empty. Uh, we'll be seeing that box later, and it'll be somewhat important. But yeah. At the top of this staircase, though, is what I actually came here for, which is Merlot. Hey there. I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, have you any star pieces? I think it would have been better if they phrased that, how you have you any star pieces. Although it is a kid's game, I suppose. So with the four star pieces we have, we can get possibly two of these. Now, what I'm definitely going to get is payoff, which is um, the more damage I take at a battle, the more money I'll get after the battle. Yes, this is the badge I want. And what's the other one you had? Chill out, which keeps you from getting hit by a first strike. I'm not going to buy that yet because um, I'm, I don't plan on getting hit with first strikes. I usually don't get the ones that like rely, like make something easier that you could do on your own if you have skill. Like there's one that um, extends the time of the action commands you can do. I probably won't be getting that one early on either. And this one just changed the sound effects that we use and I believe it's only for the hammer. Most of them are only for the hammer, however. But yeah, now that we have that, what do we have equipped? Uh, we don't have payoff yet. I'll switch off close call for that. But we're, I mean, we're about to level up anyway, so I'll probably either do flower points or badge points. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go to Shooting Star Summit like we originally planned to. This could have been a much shorter episode if I wasn't exploring, but hey, that's the fun of it. Ooh, also, there is a star piece right over here. Got it. And that's the only star piece we'll be able to get from here for now. Can we, like... No. There's some flowers later in the game that you can interact with, and they have, like, little things they do. But for now, we're almost to the top, and I see Starface with the thing, the mustache, already. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. Voice crack. We're the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high above, beyond the sky. 
We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get that Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to the, its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will. Restore us! Looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. You think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Yeah, sure she will. Maybe. Oh, are we going into our first Peach segment? I'm not sure if we actually do anything in this. Or if it's just scripted. Sniffle. Mario's probably hurt. Yeah, probably. We get hurt a lot of times. Everyone's in prison. Oh. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. <laughs> and your call has been answered. The best, the best help you could ever get. Bowser. My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. Despite the fact that in multiple games he goes into the sky to catch you. You know, Princess, as long as I have the Star Rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone wishes? It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Back to Papyrus again. Papyrus again. Imagine when it's down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. No, because they're not, like... They don't rely on wishes like you do. I mean, you were upset that your grishes, your grishes, your wishes weren't being granted, and so you stole the star rod. You butt munch. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. I'm sure she will. I mean, she's in her own room. At least she's like comfortable. <laughs> Print the. Oh my God, Peach's like just triangle mouth. Looks actually a little bit hilarious. Oh, please, if only someone could help me. And without further ado... A gay feminine star... appears from nowhere. Why do I say that? Because his name is Twink. Now, I'm not 100% sure when the term for Twink was made. But I have a feeling it was before this game came out. Dear God. <laughs> You're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? Because we're in the sky, bitch. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Nah, no, that's true. Came because I wished that somebody would help me. Of course. That's just great. Thank you for coming. Yeah, that's what twinks... That's what you usually say to a twink, you know? 
Think you can do it? Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. You're a failure, Twink. <laughs> you or you're a failure without a common without a comma, Twink. You're the worst Twink I've ever seen. Get out of my face. Can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. Can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just caught, caught up to this guy a day ago, so I can't do the big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. That's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a name. It's probably coming right now. Yeah, you betcha. God. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? Did they just, like, just not think out a lot of the dialogue they did? Or was this before all of those terms were, like, popular? Or made, for all I know. Jeez. Yeah, get out of here, you star. Can you also? Please tell Mario that. I'm fine and you shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now don't despair. I'll be back soon. So stay safe until I return. We now have a personal servant. Oh, music. That's sweet. Now I know this has shading, but this isn't like... This is situational shading. That doesn't even make sense because she's made a paper and the light isn't coming from that angle. Technically, when you're... Okay, my phone's going off. At, um, midnight 30. Midnight 30. Um, but, uh, let's get out of here then. Not much more to do. Nice that it automatically put us outside. Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Twink. Oh, it's... People. You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. Yeah, thank... You're, you're the star. Thank yourself. How do you do? I'm Twink. Ah, yes, here it is. Finally, we're gonna get this. This allows us to do action commands. Which means we can now make this game more depth-worthy. Depth-worthy is not the term I wanted to use, but it's the only thing that I could think of. No. Do not. No. Okay, great, I don't even have to explain. Once you understand how to use the action command popularly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific, you'll be much tougher in battle now. Yeah, as you can imagine. Actually... Okay, so it still does the tutorial anyway. Fine. You were following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I follow you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. Yeah, honestly. Like, imagine like all the Goombas that... Like that first Goomba in Super Mario Bros. He must be like the most popular guy. So now, if we press A button, we'll do four damage instead of three with the power bounce. Pretty great. And of course we can tattle them. Although, um, Magikoopas aren't an enemy that we'll be seeing for a while, mainly because this is treated as a mini boss right now. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense is 0. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. Better take these guys seriously. That's okay. They'll be done in another pa- Oh, I didn't- I didn't, uh, do the thing. They'll be done with this, though. And you're done. And if you see nice appear, that means you did the action command correctly. Oh, hey, we leveled up. Nice. So now here's the choice. I have to choose BP or FP. For now, I'm going to choose FP because, I mean, I don't have many badges to use, so there's not really a reason to get my BP up yet. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her that you're... Her, you're okay. Yes, that's what... She didn't... He didn't... She didn't... He, the star, didn't say Princess Messages. Oh, okay. I, I actually forgot that they were going to come back down here. I'm just going to refer to Twink as they. Because I don't know the gender of the star. Or if stars even have genders, that would be weird. But yeah. Alright, well we did it. There he goes. Okay, it's a he. Thank you for telling me that. What a brave little guy. Gotcha. Okay, so I, it is a he. 
Good to know that the twink is an appropriate gender for the term twink. Okay. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to end it off on this beautiful scenery here. See you all next time, when we probably start chapter one. See you all then, and goodbye.